Summer is upon us. We've had a good first few months of the year. We've accomplished much and look forward to the halfway point of the year. We are never perfect. There is more work to be done. It's progress, not perfection. Our goal is to improve and enjoy our time. Our willingness to do what is necessary, even when uncomfortable, helps speed up the process. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share. Then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, alcoholism is a progressive disease. Alcoholics Anonymous is a progressive solution to our problem. June 7th, thought for the day. Alcoholism is a progressive illness. We go through the three stages of social drinking, troubled drinking, and merry-go-round drinking. We land in hospitals and jails. We eventually lose our homes, our families, and our self-respect. Yes, alcoholism is a progressive illness, and there are only three ends to it. The insane asylum, the morgue, or total abstinence. Will I choose not to take the first drink? Meditation for the day. You not only can live a new life, but you also can grow in grace and power and beauty. Reach ever forward and upward after the things of the Spirit. In the animal world, the very form of an animal changes to enable it to reach that upon which it delights to feed. Your whole character changes as you reach upward for the things of the Spirit, for beauty, for love, for honesty, for purity, and for unselfishness. Reaching after these things of the Spirit, your whole nature becomes changed so that you can best receive and delight in the wonders of the abundant life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may reach forward and upward. I pray that my character may be changed by this reaching upward for the things of the Spirit. If, when you honestly want to, you find you cannot quit entirely, or if, when drinking, you have little control over the amount you take, you are probably alcoholic. If that be the case, you may be suffering from an illness which only a spiritual experience will conquer. That is how we determine if we are real alcoholics. We self-diagnose. We start drinking and all is fun and games for a while, and we vaguely sense it is getting out of control. But we are sure we can stop if or when something important must be accomplished. Then, that line in the sand gets crossed and our boss, our wife, or our friends are concerned enough to say something. For us, we deny it outwardly. Inside, we think we need to do a better job next time controlling when and how much we drink. It does not occur to us that they are right, that we need to stop, that we have a problem. That is the insidious nature of alcoholism. It convinces us alcoholics we do not have a problem. We live in the delusion that we can drink like normal men. We can't see what we can't see until it is too late. Then, full-blown alcoholism. Hopefully, before we kill someone or our livers are falling out. On our own, we alcoholics do what is best for our selfish selves until we hit our bottom and admit we are powerless. Many succumb to the perils of the alcoholic life before finding God. We pray for them. We drank for the effect produced. We gained the sense of comfort that only the drink could give us. Then it stopped working altogether. We were doomed, it seemed. Now we have stumbled on the solution, the God idea. AA calls it a higher power. We get to choose it. Before we sucked the teat of a bottle, we thirsted for it like no other. Now we hunger for the spirit of the universe good orderly direction, our higher power, and how we can be useful to others. That is our passion. Because it saved us, we don't need alcohol to make us feel normal, to feel right in the world. Now we get right-sized in our faith, knowing we are safe and protected. 
going along the unselfish path. We want nothing for ourselves other than to keep our relationship with our higher power. So we do what we believe he wants us to do, the next right thing, which means not thinking of ourselves so much. Helping others is so satisfying, we are almost addicted to service. What a miracle we are. What a miracle the program is. We can't keep it by keeping it for ourselves. We must give it away. We happily do. Consider, alcoholism is a progressive disease. Alcoholics Anonymous is a progressive solution to our problem. June 7th, thought for the day. Alcoholism is a progressive illness. We go through the three stages of social drinking, troubled drinking, and merry-go-round drinking. We land in hospitals and jails. We eventually lose our homes, our families, and our self-respect. Yes, alcoholism is a progressive illness, and there are only three ends to it. The insane asylum, the morgue, or total abstinence. Will I choose not to take the first drink? Meditation for the day. You not only can live a new life, but you also can grow in grace and power and beauty. Reach ever forward and upward after the things of the Spirit. In the animal world, the very form of an animal changes to enable it to reach that upon which it delights to feed. Your whole character changes as you reach upward for the things of the Spirit, for beauty, for love, for honesty, for purity, and for unselfishness. Reaching after these things of the Spirit, your whole nature becomes changed so that you can best receive and delight in the wonders of the abundant life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may reach forward and upward. I pray that my character may be changed by this reaching upward for the things of the Spirit. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.